And what's up beautiful people? I don't want this video to come off as being a party pooper. You know what I'm saying? So I get a lot of people in my comments and they always tell me to talk to ghosts. They also say that they're like scared for me because I'm gonna get possessed or something. I totally agree that that makes videos like so much more interesting. But there's so many people that don't believe in ghosts and I am one of those people. So like as, as you guys know, I'm really into true crime. I just like deep dive in it all the time, I love it. Well, not like, not love it. I love to learn about it. I don't mean that I love when crime happens. So because I'm so into those true crime vibes, baby, I'm trying to like not be associated with paranormal things like at all. And the reason for that is because, so like I said before, there's a lot of people that don't believe in ghosts. So if I do a ghost video on my channel and those people watch it, they're like, hey, hey man, that's a lot of hoopla. I don't like that. And then those people don't trust me. So whenever I unbox a real painting by a serial killer, they're like, that's fake. And I'm like, dude, the mother painted it with his serial killer fingers. It's real. And they'll be like, yeah, why well, I saw that painting in a museum. How do you have it? There's no way that you have it. Joke's on you, bonehead. He made 2,000 of them. John Wayne Gacy literally had a stencil and he just traced it over and over. And over. My painting is real. Every serial killer item I have ever touched my hands on in a video is a real serial killer item. The websites that I buy them from authenticate them. I literally have a video up where uh, I show them. I'm being honest. So when I say something's real, trust me, it is real. I promise. If I've ever done anything about ghosts on my channel, it's just for entertainment. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Like, yeah, I've heard like noises before, but those noises are there no matter what. It's also like really awkward when someone walks up to me and they're like, how do you feel that you've seen so many ghosts? And I'm like, <laughs> crazy, dude. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> and of course, I'm not saying that ghosts aren't real. I don't give a fuck what anyone believes in. Sometimes I feel like a lot of people don't trust me. If a skeptic doesn't believe a video with me and a ghost, they're not gonna believe me unboxing a serial killer's item. So if you're a skeptic out there, hey, can you please Trust me, dude. There was a time when some weird shit happened. When I was like, yo, I'm gonna try to sell my soul for a video. I was at a big forest, and when I was about to do it, there was a lot of strange noises, and then a park ranger came out and said, you need to get out of here, and I was like, Jesus? But at the same time, it could be a coincidence, and those noises were probably just an animal. I guess the more that you look into things, it makes you just believe it less. Like, dude, I have so many serial killer items in my house. I have so much bad vibe shit, and nothing has ever happened. I literally store it right next to my bed. Nothing has ever happened. And I mean, like, it would be cool if something did happen. Like, I, it'd be crazy to get, like, possessed or something. But nothing happens. It was really cool, like, watching ghost movies. But when I started partaking in things for YouTube, I was like, yeah. I've never had something genuinely interesting happen. The idea of ghosts, though, is incredible. I would love for ghosts to be a thing. And I mean, it could be. But I'm just like, mm, eh. I'm like sitting here looking at a Ouija board. I'm like, that shit's made in a toy factory. And it's probably just some big businessman that's like drinking a margarita because he sold so many. And I feel like the reason why people say you have to play with multiple people is because it's like bound to move when multiple fingers are on it because everyone has like a different pressure. And then those like beeper things, like they, it, they go off with electromagnetic waves. So it's like anything with a grain of electricity near you is, is gonna set it off. And don't even get me started with those dowsing rods. I mean, those bitches are so sensitive, like you can't even keep it still. Like, I feel like you impulsively have it move to whatever you want it to say. Like, I just kept seeing a pattern to where like these things are gonna work no matter what. No matter what. And they were all made by humans. Like, and humans are like fucking scammers, dude. I would love for like a portal to open up and it gives me a device to talk to the undead. But in reality, it's some dude in his basement. It's like, I'm Magician Vinking. And it summons the Demogorgon. Like that thing is made out of popsicle sticks. I'm just like looking at it like that's a toy. I guess I've always been a skeptic with like everything that I've ever done. I've like never gone to church. So like everything that ever happens in front of me, I'm just like, and the idea of like psychics just genuinely make me upset. Like they are the biggest con artist ever. You're telling me God or Satan gave these people this special gift and they use it by asking me for $20 to find my soulmate. Why haven't you predicted the lottery? Why haven't you predicted the lottery? You could tell the future and you're working minimum wage. I just feel like they prey on the weak and the hopeless. If you like lost a close person to you, you give them like five bucks and they'll just start spewing out shit. He says he likes mashed potatoes and critically. And it is just so slimy, dude. Don't believe she's alive. 
I'm sorry, I believe that it was a violent passing. I think she was hit in the head with a rock. So you'll always know yes. when you talk to a family member, when you start a case, you'll know if this person is dead yes. or alive. Yes. Does this girl look familiar to yes, you? Yes, she does. I worked this case. This little girl is me. And you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Like, if you were a psychic, please get away from me. So, long story short, to sum everything up, it's, frust it's just frustrating when someone thinks that an unboxing video of mine is fake. So, I'm just gonna keep on doing my thing. I just want you guys to understand where I'm coming from. I don't give a rat's hat what you believe. And if you do believe it, honestly, it makes the world a lot more fun. I've also never filmed here before. Like, dude, this is my upstairs in my new house. I'll give you a quick tour, okay? Here. Welcome to the Weber residence. This is a red door. I've always wanted a red door and now I have one. This is my John Wayne Gacy painting. It is 100% real. This is an artifact from the 2020 pandemic. This is my living room and I'm here like 99% of the time. This is my retro station. I have a N64, GameCube, PlayStation 1, original Xbox, and a smaller version of the PlayStation 1. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted an egg chair. So now that I'm a door, I buy those things. This is my duct table that Tara got me. This is a painting I bought for $3 million. This couch was expensive, but I love it because you can lay down it every single way. And I am a lazy person, and it's called a sleeper couch. So that's the vibe for me. So the number one thing that I was searching for when I was trying to buy a house was a view. I wanted the view to light up my whole house. I love natural lighting. So the entire side of my house is pretty much one giant window. Hello world! This is my arcade. I'm still working on it because I have a stupid light here still. I need to remove this. Claw machine. This is my favorite game by far and I am the best at it. This is my kitchen. I'm still working on it. Like guys, I, I pretty much just moved in. Leave me alone. I want to make it like a retro diner in here. This is my first step. I have the retro diner booth right here. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I refuse to sit in chairs. I'm like, booth only. Thank you to my father for installing this. This is a guest room. So whoever wants to crash my house, you're absolutely welcome to. This goes to anyone watching this video. This is where the magic happens, if you know what I'm saying. The gaming room. I have the giant monitor. It's the size of two monitors. And this is a purple couch. I also film a lot of videos in here. This is the guest bathroom. I get bad vibes in here. And I just, I, I've never used the toilet before. And I, I don't think I ever will until I move out. I kind of stuck to my word. This is my prop closet and my laundry room. There is so many cabinets and I am not using one of them. Lastly, this is my bedroom. I have a lot of work to do in here but it's coming out great so far. There's my big W sign, and that stands for Weber. And it's customizable, look. Did someone say red alert? Red alert! Red alert! This is my balcony, I do not use this balcony, but it does shine a light beam on my face every morning and forces me to wake up. This is my bathroom, this is where I take all my sh this is my tub, and this is my first jacuzzi bathtub I've ever had in my life. And this is my bathroom view. So I could be taking a bath, and I just, I gaze at that view. And I'm like, think to myself, I'm gonna be a style one day. Now I forgot to show this one, but this is the most important room in the house. My western themed bathroom. If you think I'm cute, wait until you see me in my cowgirl boots. Her day! You just click this button right here. I'll see you next time.